This tutorial will get you started with BWV 1006A JS Bach. Um, it's a very tricky piece. So as you begin, uh, get yourself a ninth position, 434, jump to seventh position, across to the second string. Yeah, that was three or four. Back to one. And then you're going to go back to fourth position, hammer to four, then two, one, two, open. First position G sharp, then B, and then one is going to jump to the fourth string, second position, and you're going to try to stay on the fourth string. You're going to move on the fourth string. Normally, I would say move finger one, which is a stronger finger, but you're on a stronger part of the beat here, and then on a weaker part of the beat here. If you were to put a, a, a shift, you're going to add an involuntary accent, and you don't want to do that on a weaker part of the beat, right? So we use three, slide three, that adds an involuntary change, uh, a shift accent, that is okay because you're actually on a stronger part of that sequence of four notes, right? You're on the second beat, yes, but it's the beginning of the, of the four, seven, sixteenth notes. Four. that G sharp and then shift over. Thumb and index, ring finger, and then the thumb takes care of the moving parts, right? Moving notes in the fourth string. Shift, four, three, one, four on the fifth string, seventh fret. You're going to go to the second string and do a pull up from two to one, three, one on third string, right? And then you're going to repeat those same notes but on different strings. It gives you a very, very beautiful sound effect. As you move and do the same notes in first position, right? It's a completely different sonority. Listen. And then you're back home, right? This time piano. to four, change to second position, open E, which enables you to jump to seventh position, second position, right, and then you jump to ninth position, hammer, right, one, three, one, two, four, one, three, four, one, two, then four pulls on a stretch, from 12th fret to 7th fret, right? Mini bar, right? Critical that you use two here. Stretching, two. That's 7th fret, this is 9th fret. C sharp here, back to one. Open E. This, actually, open E is the last time. We're, we're in the first round, so. He's having you do that open E twice. You might as well, it makes it easier. Again, two. Open E. And here you have that change. So, thumb and index, open ring, middle, thumb. That's also an E, but it's on the third string, right? These are both notes that are stacked on the ninth fret. The, the G sharp, uh, is it a G sharp or A flat in here? It's uh, G sharp. Of course, 
fourths E major, right? And then you basically keep the same sequence. And it's very important here, a lot of people get lost in this part and they start putting the accent in the wrong place. So, one, two, three. in this place it's because they put an accent on the thumb right make sure that your thumb is very light because your strong beat is with index thumb becomes the new the next downbeat and you are actually going against the vein of what Bach originally intended okay so let's cut it at that point that downbeat of measure 29 is going to be the next section of practice so do this for for next week and we'll go from there